Panama is really complex and it sneaks up on you. You don't necessarily realize that it's going to get you in the way that it does. There's just so much more to discover than I think I could have really anticipated. Most people think of Panama. The first thing that comes to mind, of course, is the Panama Canal. And I think people come through Panama, go through Panama City, and they bypass this beautiful country that has so much to offer. We took a flight over to Boquete. The flight was literally 30 minutes, and we'd arrived right the other side of the country, and we were able to get straight out onto the volcano. We trekked through the rainforest and we saw three amazing waterfalls. It was really beautiful. We didn't see anyone during the day, it was just us. The way that we experienced the cloud forest in Boquete was by foot walking across these suspension bridges. Usually, I tell people, make sure to look up no matter where you are. But in this cloud forest, because you're so high up, you have to look down to see everything. We also learned about the different kinds of coffee grown in Panama. They grow geisha coffee there. It's so cool to walk through these farms and see the berries and try a raw bean. It's like covered in jelly and it's sweet. And then go to the processor and see the process that every single bean goes through to get to just to your one cup of coffee. We went snorkeling this morning. We saw different fish. Uh, some people saw turtles, we saw dolphins as well and then we ended up on the beach, a dessert beach. No one was there. Talk about white noise. I could have just sat on that beach all afternoon and just listened to the ocean waves. We went out to the Chagres National Park where we were kayaking, exploring Monkey Island and trying to see some of the amazing wildlife in the area. We took helicopters. I was one of the people that had an open aired one, so the best thing was being able to kind of hang out in the helicopter and, and have the camera out. Instead of just kind of being a, a little circuit around and giving people a view of some geographical thing you're looking at, it actually went into the canyon and it was just an unbelievably pristine, rural, remote area of wilderness. From above, you can actually realize how vast it is and then we started rafting down the Chagres River. The air was cooler, the water was warm. As we were travelling down, the heavens opened up. It started to rain. You know, you're feeling the elements as you're witnessing them. It's not just looking at a photo, it's not just looking through the glass of an aquarium. You're in it and there's just something that you can't replicate with that sort of experience. We visited a local community, the Ambera village, where we saw local people who welcome us and we learned a little, bit, a little bit more about them. You learn something about other people and you become more open-minded. And for me, this is what travel is about, is about forgetting everything you, you had in mind about the destination and be open-minded and be open to be blown away by uh, what the destination has to offer. And Panama did exactly that to me. I do really think that people make an experience, but no matter where in the world you are, at the end of the day, that starts with you and you have to be there. It's a gift to be able to be present when you're traveling in a place like Panama.